It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Seattle Seahawks. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the beautiful city of Seattle. We welcome you inside Lumen Field, the home of the Seahawks. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olton here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends, but come game day, there is no question at the end of this one. Yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. Your kicker, Tyler Bass, has us ready to start, and off we go from Lumen Field. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Seahawks come on, and that means it's Geno Smith. What a story he's been. Real turnaround here in his 12th year now in the NFL. Came out to Seattle, backed up Russell Wilson the last three years. Greg, he has been the starter, and he runs this Seattle offense now. You just can't say enough about Geno and his turnaround over the last couple years, Mike. I mean, many thought he was destined to just be a career backup and just play out the rest of his career. And when things didn't play out at first, instead of just listening to those doubters, he just kept working on his craft. And next thing you know, he gets an opportunity with a new team, makes the most of it, and he's now solidified himself as a bona fide franchise quarterback in this league. They face second down and seven. Once again, it's Walker. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. The lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. Working out of the gun, Smith. He gets that to his big target, Fant. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. First and ten. Straight ahead, it's Walker. And he'll get four on this one. Down inside the 40-yard line now. Here's a second and six. Keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. We'll try and run it with Walker. And he will have the Seahawks first down. Won't be by much. He needed three. He got three. But the mark says, first down. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. On first and ten, here comes Walker. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack 
is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. On second down, Smith. That's caught by Tyler Lockett. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. On first down is Smith. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Now, this looks like a design run, and he'll go down back at the four. The reason teams love calling the quarterback's number on design quarterback runs, Mike, is because in the blocking scheme, you gain one additional blocker. It didn't matter here. The defense was ready for it, and they're able to bring the quarterback down for a loss. From the gun on third down, Smith. A good blocking, and he's in. Geno Smith, touchdown Seahawks. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Jason Myers on to attempt the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Seahawks will take a 7-0 lead. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. This taken in at the eight-yard line. Past midfield. And they finally get him down for this return all the way to the 10-yard line. Oh, so close. I mean, those are tough. You go that far, and it doesn't result in a touchdown. But give that kicking team a little bit of credit now. They never gave up on a play. But what a return it was inside the 10-yard line. That was sensational. So out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen. You're seven already with Buffalo. The last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. There's a handful of guys throughout the league, Mike, at the quarterback position that single-handedly are worth the price of admission, and he's certainly one of them. He can make every throw on the field look routine. And while that gets the majority of the attention, it's the athleticism. It's the toughness as a runner. Frankly, just not a lot of guys at the quarterback position possess it. Not to mention, at all times, he's one of the biggest guys on the field. If he's under center, chances are, you're going to be in the competition to compete for a championship every year. Ball right on the five-yard line, second down and goal. From the shotgun, it's Allen. To the goal line and in. James Cook, touchdown Buffalo.
Tyler Bass now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bills come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. On the return, it's LaVisca Chenault. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready to get going with their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Walker to start the drive and he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage but probably going to be a loss of a yard here well they try to get the run game started here early on this drive Mike and they're just going to have to do a better job up front there's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go you never want to lose yards on first down but that's exactly the case here play action now it's Gino that's caught it's Kenneth Walker and a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball. Keep that to a short game. It is third and ten. From the gun, it's Gino. Got a man. It's Lockett. A 19-yard pick up there. It's good for a Seahawks first down. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. The tight end Fant in motion. The run up the middle, it's Walker. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. A second down throw for Smith. This one is complete to DK Metcalf. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. They call this the alley. So it's the area between the hash marks and the numbers. And depending on what defense they're in, there is a lot of space to be had down those seams. So if this defense doesn't make a couple of adjustments, I wouldn't expect this offense to target any other place on this field. He'll get this complete to Walker. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. Throwing on second down, Smith. And that one incomplete. Timing and trust critical elements of this quick passing game if your target and the quarterback are not on the same page it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down they need to get to the 29 here facing third down from the shotgun smith that's over the middle and taken in he's got it it's been a busy first quarter for him so far his third catch goes for a first down this is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. A 
on first and ten. Here's Smith. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. That is caught. What a throw. Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. Touchdown, Seattle. All week we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket. Let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball. And that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. Myers, good on the extra point. And the Seahawks will move out to a 14-7 lead. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Bills' offense ready for their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. here is Hollins. Quick throw. Taken in. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to, what they call, punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Well, I'm not sure you're going to find a better example of just pure speed in the open field than that run right there. I mean, when he got past the first wave, you got the sense that he might just be able to outrun everybody on the field. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. Now Allen on first down. Open man, that's Amari Cooper. And he's going to be taken down. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. So it took just three plays, but just like that, they have first and goal. Here's Cook. And that's a productive run. He gets this one down to the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. From the gun, it's Allen. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Mac Hollins. Touchdown, Bills. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Bills will tie things up. 
We are all even at 14. We are all square, 14 apiece the score, as this one's away. Here's Williams on the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Seahawks offense starting to trot out for this next possession. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14, they'll start this drive with first down. On the bootleg, it's Smith. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Early in this drive, they're trying to establish some offensive rhythm, but now after that second down sack, really puts them in a must-pass. You don't want to be in third and long very often in the NFL. It's not a very high percentage conversion rate, and with the danger of a three and out, they better hold up here in pass protection. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. From the shotgun, it's Smith. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. Four catches already in this opening quarter. Off to a hot start as he picks up the first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. So, from the 36, it is first and 10. Oh, no chance to get rid of that one. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. From the gun, here's the give to Walker. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Third and long. Here's Gino. Taking off, he'll try to get there. He got a lot of what he needed, but just not enough. The mark is a couple yards shy of the first down, and here comes fourth down. The defenders knew a pass was coming. They had their ears pinned back here on third down, but they initially allowed him to escape the pocket and make a break for it, but give him credit. They recognized the scramble quickly, rallied to the ball, stopped him short of the first down. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. The Bills offense ready to get back at it. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10.
In motion, Shakir. And the defense snuffed that one out. It goes down as a completion, but no gain on the play. Well, you can tell that the defense had seen that play on game tape, and they were ready for it. They tried to do a little jet sweep, pop pass out of the gun. Defense was all over it. Nowhere to go, no gain. On second down, here is Allen. He finds Hollins on the ground. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Here's third down and a few inches. To throw is Allen. That one complete to Hollins. And he is going to have a Bills first down. He has it by plenty. As they keep the drive alive here on third and inches third and inches you see a lot of teams try to take a shot why Mike because they know on fourth and inches they still have a chance to convert the first down the shot wasn't there but they're still able to pick up a nice gain and convert and bring up first down a modest gain maybe two yards it's second down the gun here's Allen and that'll go for a gain of seven and it's going to set up third down and this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground but they can occasionally split out in the slot and man they're too fast for linebackers and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs He's got the hook up there to Cooper. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. Knotted at 14 on the scoreboard. Greg and I back in the Great Northwest in a moment. First and 10 now from the 36. Allen going to give it to Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop it. They'll come up here, first and ten. Man in motion here is Hollins. He'll tuck it and take off. And he's down at the three. What a run. What I like the most here is just the decision that when he wants to be a runner, he commits to being a runner, and he's able to weave his way downfield Pick up the first down, sets up first and goal. Ball sitting on the three. It is first down and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Trying to fight his way into the end zone, but they will mark him short down at the one. And a little closer. Here's second and goal. In motion, Shakir. And he'll take it on in. Khalil Shakir. Touchdown, Buffalo. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. 
Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. Bass's kick is good. And the Bills have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21-14 to lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. On the return, it's Williams. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Out comes the Seattle offense as they get ready for their next possession. They're searching here for the tying score, down 21-14. And they'll begin first and 10. This drive starts on the ground with Walker. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Off the play fake. It's Smith. He has Rocket over the middle. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake, Smith. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Working out of the gun, Smith. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good gain, brings up third down. What can they do here on third down and seven? To throw is Smith. That'll be caught. It's Metcalf. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. First down, Seattle. Gino to throw. He'll try to set up the screen here with Walker. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. Here's second and six. The tight end Fant in motion. On second down, Smith. That one incomplete. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw. 
to result in those big plays, but I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. They go play action with Smith. And this ball incomplete on third down. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks will cut the lead down to four. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So Myers back out there at the field goal a moment ago. Now set to kick this one away. On the return, it's Ty Johnson. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. start on the ground with Cook. And he'll bring this to about the 34-yard line. Julian Love brings him down. Man in motion here is Holland. That's caught downfield by Cooper. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Set to go now on first. And 10. A run out of the gun with Cook. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And I don't think he got there with that one. Only needed a yard. Wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. And now we're looking at third down. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. On third and one, it's Allen. That's taken in by Hollins. And he's in. Mac Hollins. Touchdown, Bills. His second touchdown of this first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this guy. Bass now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Bills add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead.
Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Williams now to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Seahawks' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Play action now. It's Gino. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. Smith to Smith and Jigba. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. The quick passing game in the NFL, Mike, is so dependent on yards after the catch. you got to generate space with the scheme, and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest. In this case, nice job defensively, because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. And play halted for a moment. We have an injured Seahawk player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Here's Michael Dixon now as he'll punch it away for the second time. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Bills offense, and Josh Allen headed back onto the field, and he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And he'll manage to work this forward to the 37. Reek Woolen brings him down. Second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Now he'll run it. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. Here's a third down and four. Man in motion here is Holland. Allen on third down. Quickly to the outside and complete. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Slot receiver headed right. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. They'll work now on second and four. From the gun, it's Allen. Throw on the run is complete. 
And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Again, it's Allen to the air. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Trying to get it to Dalton Kincaid there, and it'll lead to a second down. Man in motion here is Hollins. A run with Cook. And they'll take this down inside the 35. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half. And I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. On first and ten, it's Allen. A quick slant into the hands of Cooper. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. On the zone read, a handoff here to Cook. And he's going to be close to a first down. Looks like he'll have just enough to keep the chains moving. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. So they come to the line for first down and 10. A design run here for Allen. And he maneuvers his way forward, a gain of six. And these are body blows on any defense. This quarterback has the ability to make guys miss and do a lot of damage in the run game. And that's a nice pick up there. They'll come up now for second down and four. On the handoff, this is Cook. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. It gets them down to the six. The story of this drive has just been their ability to sustain and get fresh sets of down. Now, in this case, after picking up that big gain on the ground, they find themselves first and goal. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the set. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth each team trading blows trying to establish control over the other nice chunk play on the previous play the defense responds back with a sack and we'll see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds going in the wrong direction now second and goal from the 12 in motion Shakir Khalil Shakir, touchdown Buffalo. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. So the numbers starting to pile up here early. We haven't reached halftime, and he's already thrown four touchdown passes. Now Bass to tack on the extra point. His kick is good. And the Bills are going to extend their lead.
Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here's Williams on the return. Uh-huh. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. The tight end Fant in motion. Here's a handoff to Walker. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking them down for a loss. Now, faking the give. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. Good-looking screenplay there. A gain of 11 and a first down. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins, and it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline, so as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Back to throw. How? That ball flutters to the ground. It's incomplete. Well, fortunate there wasn't a defender right there in the area. Could have been a turnover. Instead, it brings up second down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. He's going to air one out for Metcalf. That's caught! And he will go all the way. D.K. Metcalf, touchdown Seahawks. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Myers now to add the PAT. He's got it. And the Seahawks are able to cut into the deficit. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. Johnson now to return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Bills offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Now, Allen. They'll set up the screen to Cook. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down.
Here's a second and six. From the gun, Josh Allen. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. Now Allen on first down. Open man downfield, it's Kincaid. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. First and ten. Man in motion here is Hollins. There's that man again. Another catch. Now a timeout, Buffalo. They're second. As they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. They face second down and seven. Throwing again. It's Allen. That is caught. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're... It is brought in in the end zone. Amari Cooper. Touchdown, Bills. So add another touchdown and touchdown pass for that matter. He has thrown six already in this one. Amazing stuff. Extra point try by Bass. He's got it. And the Bills are able to extend the lead. So, still the matter of six seconds remaining in this half. And the kick's away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Throwing is how. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The Bills were led in the first half by their all-world quarterback, Josh Allen. He had a half for the ages. Touchdown pass after touchdown pass. He threw a month's worth of touchdowns in just those first two quarters of play. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half.
very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has given the folks who put together our highlights a lot to choose from. Came out hot, has not let up. Touchdown pass after touchdown pass. The defense left grasping at straws, trying to figure out how to slow him down. He has had some kind of game. They'll throw on first down with Allen. A throw over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second-half pressure getting to him, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one, and they let him off the hook. They'll run with Cook. And he goes forward. Good gain on that one. Pick up of eight out to the 33-yard line. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. He'll try and run here with Cook. And that'll move the sticks. First down, up to the 40. the gun here's Allen a short throw caught by Kincaid that's a nice pickup on a first down throw it's a gain of eight so the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space so when you put the ball on them early it leads to big yards after the catch in this case they don't get the real big play they were hoping for but they'll definitely take it now it's Allen. That's over the middle, taken in by Cooper. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Allen to throw. This one is complete along the sideline. A very nice job to fit that ball in. It'll be a modest game. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. They run out of the gun. It's Cook. And he's going to bring this one close to a first down. Looks like they'll mark him just a yard short. They don't need much. It is third and inches. Allen going to keep it on the zone read. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They're able to convert, albeit not by much, but they get it on third and a yard. The advantage to this play call, Mike, is as an offense, you now can account for one extra defensive player. In this case, it's the quarterback reading the end. He goes after the running back. He pulls it, keeps it himself, picks up the first down. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. So now they'll throw it with Allen. That's going to be caught by Kincaid. 
And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. Cooper going in motion. They'll look to set up the screen here. And he'll be taken down. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. This has been some kind of march downfield. Now, can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. Here's a run. A dive, and he's in! James Cook, touchdown Buffalo. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime. That other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for this second half. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bills will extend this third quarter lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. On the return, it's Williams. He's to midfield. And they will finally track him down, but not before he takes this to the other side of midfield. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. When you've given up this many points, you're going to get quite the workload with your return units, and that's a really good effort right there I mean it's gonna get lost anytime you have a one-sided game like this but that's great determination on that run back there's DK Metcalf he and the Seahawks offense set for their next drop and you see the numbers for him into this third quarter they just pop off the screen he has been open and electric throughout on the bootleg it's Smith that's complete to lock it outright. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. They'll go play action. It's Smith. He's going to air one out for Metcalf. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. DK Metcalf was the intended target. Now it's going to be third down. We'll try and run it with Walker. And he'll work his way down to the 32-yard line. And that is enough for a first down. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike. But good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward. And it would be enough to pick up the first down. The tight end Fant in motion. Play action now. It's Gino. And the coverage right there. This ball knocked away. It's incomplete. 
He was seeking the veteran Tyler Lockett there. And it'll bring up second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Smith and Jigba left side, he's got it. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. From the gun, it's Gino. Got it with Smith in Jigba. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And up until this point, we haven't seen a lot go their way, but here in the third quarter, they're starting to find some plays. They're starting to get some opportunities. Just got to ask yourself if it's too little too late. On the ground, it's Walker. He is in. Kenneth Walker. Touchdown, Seattle. When you start talking about the qualities of a top-tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together he takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Now the point after drop from Myers. He gets it to go, and the Seahawks are able to edge a bit closer. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. Johnson now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. Hey, Greg, this has been something to watch. Let's go through some of these highlights. Touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. And this is one of those games where dreams are reality, Mike, and you just can't ever predict when you're going to have a game like today where just every play call, every ball that you throw, every option that you have downfield is wide open and productive. It's, it's pretty incredible the ability for them to continue to have their way with this defense because barring some sort of change from this secondary where they come up with some answers, I don't even think they're done scoring just yet. Man in motion here is Hollins. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. A gain of 15 and a first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. And that keeps them ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Josh Allen on the bootleg. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. On third down, they go with Cook.
On fourth down, the Bills send out the veteran Sam Martin to punt. And a pretty good punt there. The fair catch taken right around the 11-yard line. The home team's offense and Kenneth Walker ready to take over once more. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. the ground it's Walker to start the drive and that'll be a pickup of three we'll keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker and he'll only manage to pick up three yards and that leads to third down. From the shotgun, Smith. He gets that to his big target fast. It's a gain of 10 yards. It's good for a Seahawks first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Smith to throw on first down. That's complete. It's Metcalf. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And, of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. On first and 10, here comes Walker. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. Once again, it's Walker. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. From the shotgun, it's Smith. He'll let this go deep for the end zone that is gonna be Hall in he's got it Jackson Smith and Jigba touchdown Seahawks two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon what separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League Mike is not only ability to process but the ability to process quickly under pressure and I think that's exactly the case here he's able to go through his progression find his target in the end zone and then deliver that ball on time accurately and the result is a touchdown Myers good on the extra point and the Seahawks are able to cut into the deficit
After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. Johnson now to return. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. The tight end Kincaid in motion. On first down, it's Allen. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Allen going to give it to Cook. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. That's over the middle to his tight end, Kincaid. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. A quick slant into the hands of Cooper. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. From the gun, Josh Allen. He's got his tight end, Kincaid. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. One more time going up top with Allen. That's to the left side where he's got Kincaid. Second down and eight. Allen going to throw again. There's that man again, another catch. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bills... Add on to their lead. Oh. 
So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. On the return, it's Chenault. Yeah! And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. This drive starts on the ground with Walker. And he works past the 40, taken down after a gain of seven. Here's second and three to go. A shotgun run now with Walker. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So back and forth they go as we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up here first and ten. On play action, Smith. This one complete to his tight end, Fant. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass. And he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. Off the play fake, it's Smith. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. They'll keep it on the ground. And it looks like he's got enough for the first down. Let's wait for the mark. Yes, that run, that's enough to move the chains. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back-end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Working out of the gun, Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Anytime you have a running back like this, it's more about just how many ways can you get the ball in his hand. He's had a great game today so far on the ground. Now they're starting to find ways to get him the ball through the air, and that is a handful for any defense. From the gun on third down, Smith. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. A gain there of 10 yards. First down, Seattle. Okay, so now you pick up that first down, Mike, but now there needs to be a sense of urgency. You know you need to score twice. So this one, ideally for the offense, results in a touchdown. 
But either way, this first score of the two needed needs to be fast as you need every possession you can here late in the fourth quarter. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's second and six. Here's Smith. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes and... That ball falls incomplete. On third down, they'll set up to throw. To the left side, it's caught by Brown. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, Corral them, take them down short of the sticks. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Seahawks are able to put up three and cut into the lead. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. So Myers back out there, had the field goal a moment ago, now set to kick this one away. A return now from the four. Terrific return. He's taken down just shy of midfield. The visitors offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That's over the middle, taken in by Cooper. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Cooper going in motion. From the gun, it's Allen. That's to Cooper again. And they'll take this down inside the 35. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop... Their opponent's not going to get the ball back. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Cooper going in motion. On second down, here is Allen. That's caught. It's Amari. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. Cooper with the grab. And he's going to be taken down. Big-time completion right there, and... This isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So, really nice job here late. We're going to see if they can put this one out of reach.
Here's a chance to put this game away. First down and goal. To throw again, it's Allen. This one caught at the four. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Throwing again, it's Allen. Under pressure, and down he goes. They've got him back at the 10. If there's one positive remaining, it's the fact that they're still in scoring position. But with the way they've been able to move the ball down here in the red zone, they're thinking six. But after that last sack, their chances of converting here for a touchdown have gotten a lot more difficult. Play seven of the drive coming up, and it's third and goal. Out of the gun, here's Allen. He's got it at the three. Seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is, and he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch, and even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bills will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. Williams now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Seahawks offense ready for this next possession. They'll do so with first and 10. The tight end Fant in motion. They'll stick to the ground. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. On second down, it's Gina. And this throw batted away and incomplete. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. A pickup of 15 in the air. It's good for a Seahawks first down. Having the ability to move your running back to the widest receiver, they call those the number one receiver, meaning he's the closest to the sideline, it really forces a defense to show their hand. Do we keep a corner out there, and I know it's zone, or do I move a linebacker or safety out there and now you tell the offense that it's man coverage. So the versatility and the chess piece that is the running back position, it could do so much to help not only the play caller, but also the quarterback. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. Connecting with the tight end. That's Fant. 
And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Gino now on first and 10. That's to the right side and incomplete. Jackson, Smith, and Digba, the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. There's the big tight end, Fant. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal. That's a gain of 28. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast, so they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's first and goal. From the gun, it's Gino. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. A second down throw for Smith. Checking it down, this one is caught. Stop at the six, and that sets up third and goal. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Damar Hamlin, with the good coverage, got a hand in there and knocked that one away. Teams practice these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. So the offense finds themselves in a tough situation. They're down by two scores late in this game. They know this is a prime opportunity. They need to play for a touchdown. And instead, the defense makes a huge stand, and they got a chance now to close this game out. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Allen will throw. There's that man again. Another catch. The defense dialed in. He's going backwards on that one. Taken down back in his own five. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Now Allen. A short throw caught by Kincaid. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. motion Shakir and that call will not get it done the defense ready stopping him behind the line of scrimmage it sets up fourth down the Bills bringing on their punting unit as they try to play the field position game here protecting a fourth quarter lead 
and not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Seahawks offense and DK Metcalf getting set for their next possession. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. Smith now to throw on first down. This one finds Lockett down the left side. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. Working out of the gun, Smith. Now he'll air one out. He's got it. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. From the shotgun, Smith. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. On second down, Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable. Oh, a loose football. The Bills have got it. Those are the places on the field where the defense wants to come up with the big plays. And that was one. Down deep, get to the quarterback, knock it out, and come up with the recovery. Mike, this is one of those times where I think for a quarterback, they get caught in between. Do I want to be a runner and take it in myself? Do I have time to let my wide receivers develop in the end zone? I think he holds on to it just a little too long. The defense pokes it free and creates a huge turnover. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll start on the ground with Cook. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. They'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And that's good run support on the edge. Nice tackle out wide. It'll hold him to a gain of two. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. They'll drop to throw. He's looking deep for Shakir. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. 
the home team's offense and veteran Tyler Lockett getting ready to get back to work. They've got great starting position with a short field as they try to get back in this one. It is first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Smith. He has Lockett over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike touchdown field goal but either way I'm coming away with points now they are in business inside the 15 yard line one time out at their disposal but the more pressing need they have to score twice it's first and ten to throw it's Smith to the goal line and in Tyler Lockett touchdown Seattle well that was step one the offense did their job get this thing back within one possession so they're still alive but now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back and it's not going to be easy Myers now to add the PAT. The kick is good. And the Seahawks will cut the deficit to seven. A one-score game late, and you figure they got to have this one as they'll try an onside kick. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick not much of a chance. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. They'll try again. It's second and ten. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee.
So a road win here for the Bills. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.